Hi, I'm the gadget guru, Andy Parr, and you're watching TheFog.net. I'm here with Andy from Volusia Motorsports, and here with us is a Victory Highball. Now, this bike, when it first came out, it started off a little lukewarm, but this bike has, has turned into a white hot marvel for Victory. Now, one of the features on this bike that really I haven't seen anybody do online, that's why we're here today to take a look at, is that you can adjust these mini apes from the vertical position all the way down to a low position. So you can take somebody who's six feet tall like Andy, or you can take somebody who's five foot six inches like the other Andy over here, and this one bike will fit both riders. Now, Andy, is that true? Is that a fair assessment that you can make this bike convertible for a lot of people's heights? Yeah, and then the personal preferences, how you want to ride, uh, you can just, just change it up. How complicated is it to do this? You know, I'm not a mechanic. I'm, I really don't like working on bikes. What's involved and how long does it take? It doesn't take very long at all. You got a, a, you need a 6mm um, Allen wrench to uh, unclamp the handlebars. That allows you to, to swing it back to a lower position. And then you just adjust the uh, controls on the, on the handlebar to suit that changed angle. And that's a 5mm Allen wrench and a couple of Phillips screws to, uh, to make that complete in a couple of minutes. I remember when Victory first launched the bike, they said it can be in two positions, high or low. But now I'm hearing it can be infinite. Um, any words of advice on that? Yeah, there's a couple of indents and markers that they put on initially. Um, and of course, different states have different laws on, on the height of a set of handlebars. And then we have riders of different heights, as, as you explained. So uh, to accommodate all, uh, you can actually clamp the handlebar pretty much anywhere that you choose to suit. Okay, well, I tell you, let's see, you're at six foot. Let's see what your riding position is like on this bike. Now, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use a little magic here. We're going to switch positions. Are you ready? Boy, how'd you like that? <laughs> Made my head spin a little bit. Okay, now here I am. I'm 5'6". Now, this is kind of a reach for me. I think this would be kind of fun to ride around, but it's not that comfortable. So why don't we take a break for a minute. Casey from Volusia Motorsports is going to come in and adjust the bars, and then let's see how they fit. So here we are at full vertical height on the Mini Apes on the Victory High Ball. Okay, that took about five minutes. We want to thank Casey from Volusia Motorsports for coming out and doing this. Now, here's basically what they did. Loosened a few bolts here. They had some Allen bolts here and here so that you could do the controls. Now, check out this riding position compared to what we had before. Now, you're taking a look at the higher bars. Now, here we are back with the lower bars. And, Andy, I have to tell you, this is a completely different riding position. Now, somebody my height, 5'6". This fits. It didn't fit before. What do you think of that? Yep, it's great. It's so flexible. Now, how about somebody your height? Why don't you have a seat down here? This time we won't use magic. We'll actually walk around here. How about your height? How does that feel? I mean, that now your elbows are tucked in. Yeah, it still works for me. I mean, it's it's moved a few inches down to a lower position. Still very manageable. The bike. Uh, I've ridden the bike in in both uh, positions, and it, it handles uh, um, more easy going at low speeds in the lower position instead of uh, reaching with the high bars but uh, you know I'm six foot and uh, works for me in both you know it's, it's strange when I think about a bike being convertible I'm thinking about a top case coming off or bags coming up I never would have thought of adjustable bars as being a convertible but it does provide two different types of riding experience it does and uh, yeah depending on your mood that given day you can change it up change it around now, Andy, what does this bike sell for? It's thirteen four nine nine. And I'm sure you have a few. If anybody wants more information, what do they do? Of course, look, check us out online, and uh, or give us a call down here in New Smyrna Beach. But this bike has been a, a a great great price point for Victory. And when people again, we've said it before, when people see the bikes in the dealership, they're just drawn to it. You see the quality of uh, the specification and the paint, and just the all the styling pieces of the bike all connect. And uh, it's a it's a great rewarding bike. This one. You are Andy, I want to thank you for your time. For the Vogue.net, I'm the gadget guru Andy Parr, and I'll see you on the road and online. <laughs>